Good afternoon, everyone. Hope we're all okay. I'll just give you a few minutes to come along and join in the fun. Bear with me. with me is anybody on there already no it's fine two people in there solo feel free to solo probably josh is there sorry if anybody's on there let me just check in a sec uh, just give us a minute or two, and then I'll. Uh, I'm just waiting for a few people to join in, and then message my my mate Josh as well. I'm going to tweet it out as well, get that done. So that's all my social media done. Let's see if anybody's here. Can you see that? Let's go back here. Da, da, da. Oh, crud. I knew I'd do that. Just drop me chocolates. Let's put them over here out of the way. Uh, they're quite nice, by the way. These I've seen them in Iceland today. I don't know if you can see them. They're, they're Aero Neapolitan ice cream flavor. Uh, quite nice. I got them, and I got them raspberry Milky Way, Milky Way buttons, or whatever they're called, the ones that other people run about. Yeah, right. Hope we're all okay today. Uh, I won't start until a few people's on. Give you a few minutes to join in. Uh, only five minutes in, nobody's joined yet. That's weird. I think Josh is uh, busy actually doing some work for a change. Yeah, anybody else is in the chat? Feel free to say hello. I'll give it another five minutes, and if nobody's in, I'll have to start. Gonna eat my chocolate buttons. Oh.
Who else is twitching today? Second yellow card. He's doing his... Ah, there we go. All right, Josh. Very quiet in here so far. I mean, I've only been on here for five minutes, so I can't say anything. You're all right. Yeah, I'm good, mate. How's your day been? Been up too much, just been working. Ah, did you? <laughs> what stream was that then? Was it a uh, football manager one? How are you getting on on the um, New Japan so? Oh, okay. Michael Lingo. Never heard of him. Is he is he doing quite well for himself on Twitch? Who's he managing? Okay, I'll have to have a quick look at him now you've said it. I'll give, I'll give him a follow. Oh, okay. You've challenged with her for Berlin. Fair play. You create database in fictional countries. Yeah. There's probably a market for that. It has to be an actual real thing for me to be into it. That's why I never got into the, um, the um, what's it called? The, the um, TEW um, com Convalers or whatever it's called. I can't remember what it's called now. Covalers, Covalers or whatever it's called. That's it, the C-verse. The Metaverse, basically. That's it, Cornerverse. I knew it was something like that. I'm just going to give it a few more minutes, mate, and see if anybody else joins in. All right, Dave. Hope you're okay, mate. Thank you for joining us. How are you today, Dave? Josh, don't bloody flip in. Don't give him any rope, he'll hang himself. <laughs> I don't want to have to put a warning on here before to say, just watch out for adult material in the chat. Yeah, I bet he bloody is. Have you got a photo of the, you with these twins, Dave, that me and Josh can see? Obviously, if you don't want to show us, this is fine. Oh, okay. Nothing rude. I don't want nothing saucy, thank you. Just a normal photo. Gotta be safe for work, as they say. No, you can put links though, can't you? It don't matter, mate. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to doubt you. Um, oh, I was just eating my chocolate. I'll stop now. I did, I did, um, SmackDown. Yeah, it's all ready to go. Um, I didn't get a chance to pre book any of the other shows though. So, um, but I, I will get quicker at doing it now because I know what to do. So, it will get quicker. I'm hopefully, I'm hoping I've done everything right with the angles and everything. Fingers like that. Uh, we'll just see. We'll just see. I'll just give it. I'm going to give it two more minutes, and then I'll start the show. But yeah.
Oh, okay, cool. Have you started your diary yet, though, Josh? Uh, there's no rush, mate. Just let us know when you've done it. Dave, do you play TEW much? Have you got a save with that with the with the game at the moment? Yeah, you like me, Josh, didn't you? you? Like you like to get everything just right before you start it. I know what you mean. I think that's why it took me so long to set it all up. Oh, I've inspired you. Oh well, there you go then. That's good. Who are you? Who are you? Uh... Who are you managing on TW 2020 then, Dave? Oh, you only bought it yesterday. Fair enough. I should be getting commission off bloody uh, Adam Ryland. Adam Ryland should be giving me commission right now. Yeah, I think the whole... I think. The, the most enjoyment you get out of the game is setting it all up. I think playing the game isn't as fun as setting all the game up. Yeah, definitely, Josh. I should definitely get. I should do. It, I should. I should try and get an affiliate link or something with T for TW, shouldn't I? When you play this, you can get like twenty percent off buying TW. I now have um, 40 followers on Twitch now, so that's good. So it's going up slowly now, going up a lot quicker than it was when I was doing FM stuff, so that's good. I'm 10 followers away from potentially getting monetized. My dream is to do this for a living and then I uh, uh, get paid for it, but, you know, it, at the moment I'm not expecting it. Yeah, I've signed the Von Erics, by the way. They're, uh, they're going to be in uh, NXT at some point. Yeah, but Davey Richards is a piece of shit, let's be honest. Sorry for swearing, but, you know. I've heard some stuff about him over the last, last couple of months. But then again, if you literally... Yeah, most of the machine guns are awesome. If you literally just basically didn't hire anybody because of their dodgy reputation, you wouldn't be able to hire anybody, let's be honest. It's getting to the point where you can't hire any male wrestlers because they're all bloody wrong guns in one way or another. That's the sad case. That's the sad state of it all. Right then, lads, it's time. Are you ready? Right. Hold well on. Ah, oh, for God's sake. Um. <laughs> We've already come up to our first error. Uh, okay, just bear with us. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. I hope that didn't spoil too much for you. Yeah. Sorry, Dave. Right, we're starting now. So I did the freelance one. Should have kept Santos Escobar on scripts. So that's my fault. Uh, Electra Lopez and Santos Escobar are uh, a good pairing. So I've done. I've done some uh, other storylines. Involving the LWO and Legrado, es uh, Legrado del Fantasma. So it's a lot, a lot of the, a lot of the SmackDown are focused on the storylines I got going. Uh, the yellow booking analysis was things like I'm overusing wrestlers, um, and apparently I had three matches with different aims on them, but I don't know. What that meant, as in, does that mean I've got too many on? Like, I, I didn't, I did, I left most of them as just regular matches. Um, oh, I had a nightmare before I carry on with the rest of this show. I had a nightmare of a, a morning's day. I recorded four, I recorded three episodes of my Football Manager series on YouTube, only to realize that I had the mic on the webcam at the same time as my actual mic. So I've got three videos where there's a bit of an echo on it. Absolute nightmare. 
I can't delete. I can't delete them during my game because I'd already done the. I'd already played it. So, yeah, bloody nightmare today. I know, absolute nightmare. It's not too bad. The echo's not too bad though, but it's just a bit annoying. So, uh, Santos Escobar believe, uh, defeated Kalito. Um, we had inter um, we had interference from Gaza and Humberto Correa. They both attacked Carlito. Carlito debuted. Oh, Tom Caster. Sorry, I thought that. I thought I read that as Carlito debuted his referee gimmick. Um, got a couple of greens here, which is good. Uh, seventy-one match rating. In the oh god. In a bolt in a in a bout that had terrible wrestling and non-existent crowd heat, the All Star team, which is Jay, which is Jay Park and Bianca Belair, defeated, uh, defeated Electra Lopez and Ivy Lee. I even limited uh, Electra Lopez's participation in this match, so imagine if, it, if I hadn't have done that. Uh, the announcing lifted the crowd. The color commentary gave the match a boost. Bianca Belair looked excellent out there. The player of the match was hurt because of some of the, the workers having little or no involvement. So by, in fact, limiting her involvement, it actually made the match worse, apparently, but I don't think that's true, really. Both storylines were... Advance. Let me just check the chat. I know I need to edit. There's two wrestlers I need to edit off offline on here on with the editor Josh, uh, LA Knight and Jay Cargill because I don't think they're as bad as they should be. But yeah, I'll alter it. I don't know if you can show me if you can tell me how to do it when we finish this show. I'll do it. So we got our, our new favorite group here, um, six pack. So. I decided to form the stable here. I only got a 47 rating. Lack of anything interesting happened in the segment was a problem, which is a shame. Robert Roode was a real star in this segment, which is good to see. They made their debut, Six Pack. Six Pack defeated the LWO, which is Epico, Primo, and Kalisto in this match. I, I did originally have Carlito, but I forgot. He was, I forgot, I forgot, I basically had him in a match with Santos Escobar. James Storm pinned Epico. Uh, Robert Roode had an in-ring performance of 91. Kalisto had a 90 rating. So I, I might do Robert Roode versus Kalisto at the next SmackDown pay-per-view, if I can remember. But yeah, that got a 79 rating. I know I need to get um, a better photo of him, don't I? It looks a bit like it doesn't look like he's wrestling in that in that photo. Yeah, we want six pack all the way. The only problem with six pack is they're all quite old. That's the annoying thing about it. Right, in about in about they had good wrestling and decent reaction from the crowd. Austin Fury defeated Camilla Hayes in eighteen minutes with the standing moonsault. Got a seventy-seven rating. Austin Fury and Carm Carmelo Hayes have great chemistry and showing the performance. That's, that's really good. Um, Austin Fury is tired though, so maybe we need to limit Austin Fury 15 minutes a match. The freestyle segment with the Kabuki Warriors attacking Bailey. Um, so Asuka come across well. Performance of Bailey was good, and then Io Sky benefited from it as well. The storyline has been. Um, Started with this one. And then we did the Kabuki Warriors who defeated Maya Yim and Shotsky. Shotsky, sorry, Shotzi in uh, 12 minutes when Oscar pinned Shotzi with a spin kick. So the Kabuki Warriors are now the women's champions because basically I forgot to, because on the day uh, they, there was no women's tag team champions. So I had to, I did this match simply just to put the tag titles on the Kabuki Warriors. But it did. Advance the storyline that we've got going, and then in a segment, Bailey chases off the Kabuki Warriors. So Bailey come down after the match and chase them all off, similar to what she did in the other one. Um, a lot of these come across well. Kari saying was very underwhelming. Let me just check the chat. Yeah, Carmella's got a bright future. 
Um, I think I think Austin, I'm I'm starting to slowly dig the Austin Theory, Grayson Waller tag team in a way. They're just they're just heel wrestlers that you just love to see get hit, don't they? Um. So after this, I decided because originally I wanted to turn Shotzi heel because she's going to be in the Wyatt family group. So I simply just did this match and this angle afterwards just to turn Shotzi. But it didn't go very well because basically Shotzi's not a star. But at least at least she's turned. At least we've got it done. Um, LA Knight defeated Solo Sukhoi in eight minutes. When Solo Sukhoi was disqualified when Jimmy Uso ran in and attacked LA Knight. So LA Knight and Solo Sukhoi have very good chemistry. There you go. That's good. So that's the show finished. We lost. Oh my god. This show did really bad. 66. 66. This is the worst show I've done. And I thought I, thought I did the best I could possibly do here. How the hell did that happen, Josh? Okay. I'm waiting for your conf confirmation. How did that go in against 66? Was it because I overused certain wrestlers? Might have been it. Bottom red thing. What does that mean? That's the, that's the thing that came up in when it was yellow before I started the show. Can I restart this show or would that be cheating? Probably cheating. We won't restart it. The crowd was disappointed that less than three of the matches had different aims. But they had great chemistry. Nah, I won't restart it. I'll just learn for next time, Josh. I feel like it's cheating if we restart it. Um, I'll find all the wrestlers I want to sign. So even if WWE go down in popularity, it doesn't matter because we'll get it back up eventually. It's a learning curve, isn't it? Um, so what does it mean? Did I have too many three of your matches apparently need to have? But you told me not to have a match aim on it. You told me to keep it simple by just having... Oh, okay. I'll go on to product now, mate. Let's have a look. Oh, this is not thing about TEW. It takes ages to load. Yeah, it might be. I'll have a look once it finishes. Sticking along. If they make another TW, they've really got to use better software, I think. So we've just signed Lince Dorado and Ace Austin. So at some point, I'll figure out what I'm going to do with them. Right, I don't know what you can see there. Right, go to... Hold on. I use fast from... Okay. Right, okay. Right, let me have a look at this then. So we're going here and we're going to go... Product. Change product. No, it won't let me. won't let me change the product. But it says here, WWE Entertainment. But I thought we changed it in the editor, didn't we? We need to go... Oh, oh sorry. Hold on then. Bear with us. Keep forgetting I've got to add screens to this. All right. Add screen. Windows capture.
You can change it in the in-game editor. Did you not save it? I thought I did. I swear I saved it. No strong soul shouldn't have match aims. Uh, each show will need at least three. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to go into the editor or? Change on the internet. Okay, right. I could have sworn I did this before and saved it. Uh, in game editor. Let me see if you can see what I can see. No, you can't. I need to add another screen, I think. Yeah, hold on, lads. Hold on. Just need to add another screen, Josh, bear with us. Can you see that? Or have I got to add another screen for that? Oh, for God's sake, I've got to add another screen now. All these add-in screens, eh? Bear with us, I'm nearly there. Oh, I just need to expand it so you can see it. There you go. Right, tell me what to do now. God, that would be a dream if I only had to do 10% bloody angles. I need to change it to... Dead Fast and Furious, didn't you? that right yeah change it to is there anything else that needs to change on that i feel like we should call this the idiot's guide to tw me learning from scratch even though i played this game on and off for years change women's what do you want me to change women's to large division medium division integrated entire company Integrated, okay. Okay. Anything else? Integrated with men's. What about the, a the AI booking style? Is there a Fast and Furious for that? No, there isn't. Do I need to change that? Just in case I got the AI. That is it, nothing else. The two basic singles and tags. Okay, so there's nothing else I need to change. Table managers. Uh, no. Okay. Save it. Right, oh, I'm hoping it's saved now. The information has been saved. Please note the company size will not uh, not be updated to reflect any changes. Yeah, fine. All right, cheers. You're up with that, Josh. Okay. All right. Let's just quickly forward. We've got raw in two days. I'll just quickly forward this. Hopefully, when I do the next show, it will be better. Oh, that's no, all right, mate. Don't worry, Josh. I just thought I'd let you know that I'm online. I didn't want you to think I didn't want you to think I wasn't uh, wasn't online. Just in case, you you probably get email notifications anyway. Dave, have you got anyone else on here that will uh, anyone else that you know that will join? I'm trying to expand the community. You any other wrestling fans or TW fans? Oh, okay, yeah, it might be. 
Yeah, if they want to come along, Dave, just invite them and see if they want to follow me on Twitch. If they don't want to, it's fine. Yeah, don't worry, mate. I would do it a little bit. I would, if I, if I didn't have a girlfriend, I'd probably most likely prefer to do it in the evening anyway. Because you've got more people on in the evening, but yeah, you know what it's like. You're in a relationship, you've got two women to satisfy, you know what it's like to try and keep them happy. Yeah, so I normally, that you, that I've got the video on demand thing on here. So, um, Dave, you can always watch it on Twitch afterwards. If you click on videos on my profile on here, it should be on here. But I also upload it on my YouTube under the same name, Luke Trefm. So, yeah, there's plenty, there's plenty. If you don't get a chance to watch it, you can always watch it on. I usually, within an hour or two, I usually put the stream on uh, the same day. Sometimes it's the next day. It depends on how busy I am on that night. But I usually just, as soon as it's done, I've got the video, I usually edit it quickly, and then I'll just quickly upload it on onto YouTube. So, yeah, you won't miss it. So if you, if you want to see if any of your mates want to watch the previous stream, maybe that might get them in, interested in doing this, joining in. The more, the merrier. Right, one thing I need to do before I start this next show, Josh, is I need to edit Jay Cargill and LA Knight, don't I? Because they are not doing, they're not very good. And they need to be a lot better than what we've got them as. Oh, I need your help with this. Right, Jay, Jay Cargill. So we need to look at tributes, maybe? I don't, know. I don't know if you can see all that. Can you see it? No, you can't. You can't see anything that. Right, bear with us. Right, you can see that, can't you? Right, let me know what you need. Oh, stream paused. Ooh, that's weird. Yeah, I'm here. You just can't see me because the screen's in the way. You'll see me once I get rid of this. Is it that? Do I do that? No. Oh, there you go. I fixed it. There you go. I figured out how you're doing. You can still see me. Yeah. Sorry about that. Right. Whole screen went blue and then showed error message. Yeah. Sometimes that happens, Dave, for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah. Sorry about that. But yeah, you can um, you can watch it on the, it, it, it's. I think I've got the video on demand thing on here for seven days. It didn't cost you anything. It just it's just so people can watch it. Uh, you still there, Josh? Because it's only got two people on here now. It was free a minute ago. Yeah. Okay. Right. So Josh, you can see what I've got on here on the attributes. So how do I make Jay Cargill better? Can you you want me to click on anything? Let me know. My video paused. Hmm. Still recording. That's weird. Okay. Skills, not attributes. Okay. Sorry. And all right. Get out of that. Skills. Can you see the skills? Hmm. No. Okay. I need to add another screen. God damn it. I'm going to run out of numbers. The TEW screens at this rate. I just need to expand this. There we go. All right, you can see it now. So I reckon uh, she's, she's a bit of a badass, so I think her brawling should be bigger, don't you? The technical should be better because she's a better technical wrestler than she was at the time. She's quite athletic, so her aerial should be... Flashiness should be definitely bigger. Charisma should be bigger. What do you reckon? Tell me which one's power-up for sure. How do I do a power-up? Is there anything? I'll just basically duplicate... So I just copy Bianca Bella. Charisma. Power-up for sure. Oh, I see what you mean now. Sorry, power. Where's power on here? Power. Yeah, power should be 80, I reckon. Charisma very high. Yeah, I think charisma should be 90. 
Oh, change 75 for power, okay. Mike, higher than 45. What do you reckon for Mike? 75? There is a Mike. Reputation's 100, so at least we ain't going to worry about... Where's a mic? Oh, there's a microphone. I'll put 75. I'll put 80 for Mike, because she is pretty good on the mic. Acting, she's quite good at acting, so I'll put, I'll put that as 75. Star quality, I would say she's bigger than not 80. She's definitely a 90. Sex appeal, depending on what you... Menace? Is menace mean like... I don't know what menace means. You should, you should probably know. Experience zero. Where? Oh, yeah. We'll put, put 70, because she's still quite green. She's only been doing it a few years, hasn't she? Okay, you only want to do... Okay, I'll do, I'll do 50. I'll do 50 for experience. I still feel like this should be up a bit more. Brawling, I think, should be up 60. Obviously, she's not going to do Persoa or Hardcore. Saying that, though, she had that tag... She's had a couple... I don't know. Actually, I'll change that to 40. Just up it a little bit. Technical... Probably 50. Aerial, I would say 50, because she's quite athletic. Flashiness, I'd probably say 70. Psychology, I would say 60, because she's better than she is. Respect, I would say 40, because she has gained a lot of respect over the brief time she's been wrestling. Let me just check what you put. Basics, selling, consistency, okay. Stamina should be better, shouldn't it? Menace should be high because she's quite scary. Okay. 80. I'd say... She's very athletic, actually, so I'm going to put 90 for that. Toughness, probably 80. Resilience, probably 80. Actually, we'll put, we'll put this as 80 as well. I reckon she would be a good color commentator, actually, to be honest. If she retires, I'll put 70 for that. Is there anything else you think I should change? No, nothing else with that one. Just leave it as that, yeah? Okay, I'm going to do LA Night next. LA Night, yeah. Click that, click skills. I'll just double check that you can see this before I start going on. And you can't, annoyingly. Right, bear with us. I just need to add another screen so you can see what I'm doing. Right, so you've got Eleanor. Mike, at least, yeah, definitely. Uh, microphone. Well, he's 86 on the microphone, so he's pretty good already, but yeah. We put, I'll put 95 on the mic. Brawling, he's probably a, quite a good brawler. Hardcore, he'd probably be good in a hardcore situation. But, uh, flashiness, he's probably quite, he's a lot flashier than that, so we'll put 70. Psychology, probably, actually, I don't know if he's psychology. I'll leave it as that. Experience, respect. He is quite respected, a lot more respected than what he should be, so. Sex appeal. Uh, you got a thing for LA Knight, have you, Joss? <laughs> I'm only joking, mate. He's a good, I'm not gay, but he's a good looking man. I reckon Dave's twins would be interested in LA Knight, don't you reckon, Dave? <laughs> Star quality, I'll probably put 90. Menace, he is quite tough, any, so I'll put, I'll put 70. Basics is pretty good. Safety, I've never heard him have a bat, like a uh, injure anybody. He'd definitely be an excellent colour commentator one day. Acting, he is pretty good at acting. I think, 90, I think 85 for that. Let me see what you've put. 
power and toughness higher. Okay, let's have a look. Charisma 95. Is there anything else you want me to change, mate? Hello, anybody else in the chat? We are currently playing as WWE on TW2020. Um, we've used an old database and updated it, but there's a few of the wrestlers that, that need uh, a bit of a, a boost in their attributes and skills and stuff. So we're just doing that. Turn on shield mode, no. Maybe upgrade DOM skills too. Yeah, true. Good idea, I'll do that next. And then we'll get cracking with SmackDown. You never know. We might actually get to do two uh, two shows to the, uh, today instead of the one. How long have we been doing it so far? So yeah, I've only been doing 40 minutes. Plenty of time. I've got an hour and 20 minutes to book uh, Raw. I don't think I'll take that long. Right, skills. Again, I'm going to probably have to add. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Don't worry, Josh. I'm fixing it. Don't worry. Hold on. Let me read what you put before. Yeah, okay. Just bear with us. I just need to add another screen. There you go. You can see it now, can't you? Right, brawling, I'd probably say 70. He's not the biggest brawl in the world. First Persuera, probably punt 30. Hardcore, probably 40. Technical, he's a lot better than that, so I'll put 70. Aerial, he's very good. Put 80 for that. Flashiness, he is a flashy git, so we'll put 80 for that. Psychology, he's very he's been very well with that lately. Experience would probably be 60 now. Respect would probably be the same. Charisma, 85 maybe, microphone, probably 75, hold on, let me see what you're putting, you'll probably know better than I do, can you, can you see it, you can see it can't you, just let me know if you think, so yeah, all right, I'll just keep going, just tell me, acting is probably 80, star quality, 90, sex appeal, my missus can't stand him, but most women probably find him very attractive, so we'll put 85 for that. Menace. I think Menace should be zero, really. Because <laughs> he's not very uh, scary looking, but we'll put it as 40 for now. Basics, 80 is very good at doing that. Selling is very good, 80. Consistency, probably 80. Safety, I've never heard him in danger of wrestlers. Stamina, 80. Athleticism, 80. Power, 60. Toughness, 60. Resilience, probably leave that. I'll probably round out to 80 instead. Uh, anything else? He's been to prison. Well, yeah, but just because he's been to... All right, we'll, all right, we'll put, we'll put, I'll tell you what, we'll put 80 for Menace. There you go. Are you happy? There you go. Menace. Toughness. Okay, he's been to prison. We'll put... 70. There you go. Anything else? Menace should be 100. Hold on, I'm getting conflicting. I'm getting conflicting here. Ah, Menace. Okay. We'll leave it. We'll go back to 60 for that. Just because he went to prison doesn't mean he's hard. There you go. Are we happy with that? I know. I know we're going to. Oh, I know. I know you were joking, Dave. Don't worry. Right, are we happy with Dominic Mysterio? Yeah? Is there any other wrestlers that you think need a upgrade that you can think of that from the last time we did it before we carry on? Just uh, removing all these screens I just had to add.
All right, there we go. We got rid of all them previous screens. Okay, no worries. Right then, I better start booking the next show then, don't I? Uh, let me just see if you can see what I can see before I carry on. Right, okay. Can you see that? No, you can't. I'll just, I'll just tell you. It'll be quicker if I just tell you. So there was an incident involving the Million Dollar Man at DBRC. Million Dollar Man got everyone a, uh, in a good mood when he set up a pancake station and started cooking for anyone who wanted them. Million Dollar Man has the people person's personality and is currently happy. So there you go. Wasn't really worth adding a screen for that. Right. You sit back and relax, you two. Give me five to ten minutes. You can see that booking screen. I need to move that so you can't see that. Move that over here. Bring my beautiful masked face over here. There you go. Sorry, you have to see that. Yeah, I will do. Don't worry, Josh. What I'll do is I'll I'll, I'll book it and then I'll quickly give you an overview of it and, and show you certain screenshots of the angles. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Dave. I reckon the twins would like the mask. I don't want to tell you too much, Josh, about the storylines, because like I said, you and Dave don't really want it too much spoiled. Need to find out. All right, okay. I'm just going to look at the raw results for this particular week that we're in. Oh, we're in week three. I think I've gone too far ahead on the raw. Raw week three, January. I think I've already done that one. The 19th, wasn't it? Oh no, hold on. 22nd. Thank you, Beth. Much appreciated. Does, uh, does Beth like things that the other twin doesn't like, or do they both like the same things? Yeah, when, when, what I'll do is when, when we go through the show, I'll tell you what my thinking is behind what, what I did, what I did. So I stupidly did last. I stupidly did this raw episode of Raw uh, at the the last stream that we did. So Laura can't stand it. I've always preferred Beth. So I think she's got a better opinion on things. Now I'm only joking, Laura. If you're listening, I'm only joking. Right, just give me five ten minutes, and I'm going to fantasy book this Raw. But I'm going to obviously try and stick to the storylines as best as I can. I'll do the matches first because oh actually I forgot we don't need to do many story uh, many angles on this one so that's good and just stick to the matches part of it which is what I prefer. What have I got? Ugh. So I popped up. I've got Brom. I've got Brom Breaker on the wrong brand. So I've just got to put him on the right brand now. In real life, he's gone to Smack. He's going to be on SmackDown, but on this particular game for this moment, for this storyline I'm doing, he is on Raw. I 
think Ben Bron Breaker needs an upgrade. We'll have a look after this after this show. I am booking him in a match. Yeah, in real life, Bron's gone to SmackDown, isn't he? But at the moment, I need him on Raw because he's in the storyline. He's in the storyline against um, Walter, aka Gunther. Do I, um, Josh, do I need to have three matches with an aim? So should I do, like, two storytelling ones, matches, and then, like, uh, epic or spectacle? I don't know what you want me to do, or... No, none now. Okay, that's fine. Cool. Right, I'm still here. How is can I was Chelsea? Why is Chelsea Green a baby face on here? This is so. Oh no, no, she ain't. Sorry, ignore me. Uh, I, I didn't click on it properly. Oh, let me just read what you put. Sorry. She's definitely healed. No, she's definitely healed. I forgot to... I thought I'd already done faces. You wish she'd eat you alive, you bloody pervert, Dave. I'll have a look at the preferences afterwards, Josh. <laughs> Dave, I'm going to give you a yellow card if you carry on with your smutty, smutty humour. Here's a question I want to ask you. Oh, what's going on with the LWO versus Legrado? Well, they're on SmackDown. What's the story of it? Basically, in real life, they've kind of been going at each other, haven't they? So I've just decided to put that in a feud on SmackDown. So I've got, I've got one storyline where you've got Santos um, and Electro, Electro Lopez versus Rey Mysterio and Selena. And then I've got another storyline where you've got Joking Wild and Cruz de Toro, de Toro versus um, Ang Angel and Umberto. So it's just to try and... So basically I can do like three ways, four ways, and it always helps advance the storyline. That's the whole reason of it, really. It'll be like a big storyline I'm doing up until 
WrestleMania, and then I'm thinking maybe WrestleMania, Rey Mysterio versus Santos Escobar. That's one of the big matches. Now, here's a question I wanted to ask you two. Do I have... For God's sake, what's, what are you put now? And I automatically accepted that. Dave, oh, on, on TW. All right, I'll let you off. Okay. Stop trying to get... Stop. You're, you're determined to get me cancelled on here, aren't you? Um, anyway, let me go back to my thought. Do you think... Okay, they help you both. Fair enough. Ask, ask Beth and Laura, do they, do they think I should have Okada make his debut on Raw? Or do they think I should keep it... Keep him... Out of the question, out of the, out of, do you think maybe I should debut him on WrestleMania instead? So that wait, should I make it a big debut at WrestleMania? Or should I just put him in there straight away? Debut at WrestleMania, okay. Do you reckon the same, Josh? Okay, cool, right, that's fine. That answers that then. Uh, if I go quiet for a bit, it's just because I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do it as quick as possible, really. I will keep ch ch checking the chat, though. You can destroy The Rock. I wouldn't mind seeing Okada versus The Rock, but I'd rather it be The Rock from, like, 2000, where he could bump a lot and look make the other wrestler look great, not necessarily the one that we've got now. Gosh, it's still saying that my I need um still saying that basically that I've got to have seventy five percent matches. So I've still got to have twenty five percent angles. But like you said it was reduced to ten when we changed the product. I don't know what's gone on there. Yeah, TV. Yeah, TV. I'll have to check it after. I'll check it in a minute before we start the show. Let me just try and get the show book first.
All right, let me have a look at product for a second before we carry on product. If I quickly show you on screen, there you go. And then move this across up here so you can see it. There you go, Josh. No, why is it showing you that? I shouldn't be showing you. Oh, balls. Hold on, everyone. Got to add a screen. Don't look at the screen if you want to, if you, unless you want to see the spoilers. So you can tell I'm not very good at this, can't you? Right, there you go, Josh. What do you reckon? No, that's all right, mate. You Luckily, you didn't get any spoilers then. Basically, just to update you, Dave, the product is still saying that TV is 25%. Is there anything I can do to change that, Josh? Uh, can I change it in any way or am I screwed? I can't change it. Oh, that's a shame. Okay. Not over there, so you can't see any spoilers. Yeah, okay. I'll just do a couple of angles to set things up. It's all right. All right, just give me a few more minutes then. Oh, pardon me, I do apologise. I'm still here, don't worry. Uh, right, so we've still got 85. I need to do some more angles. Ugh, I've done two already. Three times 10. Oh, okay, fair enough. That's easy to remember. Oh, that's good then, Dave. Josh, you should play ETW as well if you can, if you got access to it on your works computer. We can all play it together. There you go. You can talk to me about what's going on. Who are you managing, Dave, on TW? I don't think you said, did you?
Yeah, I know. That was a good idea, Josh. Huh. Um, good luck with AEW, mate. I hope it all goes well for you. Let us know how you're doing on your save. Right, so we've got eight minutes there. Eight minutes there, so that's 16. Eight minutes there. It's 24. Just need to do another six minute angle. Uh, Right, how long we got left? We got, we got. So I've booked 121 minutes so far. I need to book another 55 minutes. I've already done 31 minutes in angles. I'll do another. I'll do a big main event now. I think. Yeah, it's a good idea to do a brand split with AEW, I suppose. It, it makes it a little bit better. I think you could you could have done with the Rampage and Elevation show, uh, shows. Um, sorry, Dark and Rampage shows, just to give the, the roster who aren't wrestling on the other shows some time. Because they have such a big roster. Either that will just get rid of a lot of wrestlers on the AEW roster. Might be the best thing to do. Right. Book me a main event. Might have to do two matches actually, so I've got 45 minutes left. Right, I've done. I've booked 155 minutes. There's still 20 minutes to go. I've got 75% matches currently got, but I have 75% matches. I've got currently 74. 
So we're in, we're in there. So we just need to do one more match with a quick little angle, I think, just to add to it. I'll do another women's match, I think. Let me just check the chat so I'm not missing anything, sorry. Yeah, I think you need to push Christian to the world title. Oh yeah, good idea. Yeah, Christian Cage is a national treasure anyway, let's be honest. Right, let me just crack on then. Nearly finished. Right, uh, but okay. Started the show. I clicked on the wrong thing, but anyway. Right, I'm just going to show you the show now, everyone. See, we're getting quicker already. I've done two shows today. I can rest on my I can rest on that now. How long have we done the stream now? One hour and thirteen. We might have enough time to do another show yet. You never know. Right then, so I did a freestyle uh, segment where basically Sammy saying Drew McIntyre and Chad Gable got into a massive argument. Only got a 61 rating. Lack of anything interesting in the segment was a problem. Uh, in, a, in a bout that had superb wrestling, great heat, Sammy saying defeated Chad Gable and Drew McIntyre in 19 minutes 59 seconds. Sami Zayn pinned Jack Gable with the Haluva kick. That got a 77 rating. Match deserved better announcing. The match deserved better colour commentary, which is a shame. Uh, Chad Gable had an in ring performance of 93. Sami Zayn had 88. And Drew McIntyre had 96. Uh, I think it's just Michael Cole. I haven't, Michael Cole Ma and Pat McAfee, so I'm a bit surprised by that. Uh, the match, how did I rate it on all this, all the angle? I think you're on about the angle, aren't you? Yeah. The angle, I think I just did. I did, so I did a three-way argument, and I picked all three wrestlers um, to um, rate it on overness. Was that the wrong thing? Should I have done, should I have done entertainment instead, Josh? Is entertainment the way to go when you do stuff like that? No, so overness then. If I've got a three way argument, if there's any angle. Oh. Oh, okay. Let me just uh, go back to the booking screen in a second. In a, in a bout that had a decent wrestling, non existent crowd heat, Tegan Knox defeated Piper Niven in 12 minutes. So Tegan Knox and Piper Niven have great chemistry, which is good. Basically, the, the, the fans weren't happy because these, they classed these two as jobbers. So, right, let's go back. So, so never overness, crowd gets booed. 
I'll get bored, sorry. That's eight, that's eight minutes of them being doing nothing in Anglo. Oh, so just Mike. So we're just rated on Mike then. And just one wrestler, not the others. What if it's what if it's like a back and forth argument thing? Oh, I need to change raw. I completely forgot to do it, Josh. I'll change it after this one. I need to add another screen so I can show you what I've got on here so you can see. Okay, so do it on my, okay. Yeah, I'll change it after this show to two hours. If it lets me. Oh, uh, okay. Fair enough. Just keep it on mic. Do, do I have all? Do I have all three on mic? This angle here is all right, isn't it? Because you've got piping, niven fighting, digging up, selling. So that's all right, isn't it? Because it's basically piping, niven attacking, Tegan Knox after the match. No, only ever one person in the angle is rated on anything. Oh, okay. So just. Just get rid of the selling fatigue and knocks then. I just, yeah, okay. Not rated, okay. Right, let me just quickly view and see that. Right, let me click on the next one. That not rated, not rated. Hold on, do we need to put you know if I've got a tag team attacking? Hold on, let me read what you put first. Okay, fair enough. Okay, cool. So if I've got if I'm doing a tag team angle where a tag team's attacking the other tag team, do I put both of them as fighting? Or do I only need one of them as fighting? Oh, you can see that booking screen, sorry. So like, for instance, that, can you see that? No, you can't, bear with us. Like that, basically. Okay. Yeah, but what if they're both the same as in fine, because it's basically, uh, yeah. So I just pick one. Uh, I don't know, to answer your question. Let me have a look. Roster. Can't see that, can you? All right, I just need to add another screen so you can see what I can see. So, back, um... Where's fighting? Is it down here a bit? Toughness? Was it actually fighting down here? Menace, isn't it? Menace? Okay. So just have Akum fighting. And then I just have Akum fighting in the angle and then just get rid of the other three, basically, yeah? Okay, cool. It just annoys me that I should be allowed to do both, shouldn't they? Would make more sense to have them both, but yeah. Akam's going to get really over, and then Paul Razor's not. 
Um, all right, let me just get rid of these now. All right, so. No, 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 that's not what I wanted. Um, so I've got an angle. I'll just tell you instead of bringing up the screen. I've got an angle with Rhea Ripley um, taunting Becky Lynch. So I've put, I've done the angle as Rhea Ripley over us, but that's wrong in it. So it needs to be my phone. And then Becky Lynch not rated in it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I've got another angle where basically I've got six wrestlers. I've got another angle. Um, uh, I'll have a look. I'll have a look for you now. I'll have a look for Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley. Brawling 82. Right, microphone 77. So she's, so she's better off. Attacking Becky Lynch, maybe. That'd be better. Becky Lynch is currently injured, though. So I don't know whether she can be in a physical angle. If Becky Lynch is injured. Is it, does it make sense to put her in an angle where she's getting beaten up? Does it matter? That's why I thought I'd do the taunts instead. Okay. So I need to change that to uh, an attacking one there. Right, so I've got I've got six men, three versus three. Oh, hold on. Oh, I've just changed it to attack now. It doesn't matter. So I've got six men, three versus three match, and I did an angle where they all and I put them all as fighting. So I'm assuming I've got to just choose one, and I and the rest are not rated in it. Now we've got to figure out which one's got the best fighting out of the three. We're looking at brawling, aren't we? Where are we? Brawling. Ron Breaker needs an upgrade with the editor. We'll do that afterwards. Yeah, I've just I've just changed it to one of the participants is fighting and then the rest are not rated. We'll leave it as that for now. I can always change it um next time I do a different show. And then I've got Hold on, bear with us. I'm getting the hang of this now. I should be alright. Right, that's it. All right, there we go. Back on the show we go. So they weren't happy about this because obviously Piper Niven was here too long. Um, in, a, in a bout that had superb wrestling and decent reaction from the crowd, AOP, AOP defeated DIY in 12 minutes when, when Akram, sorry, Akram submitted Johnny Gargano. And that got a... 82 rating, which is very good. Razor and Akum got a tag team bonus. The match deserved better announcing and better commentary. 
That's really weird that that's come up all of a sudden, isn't it? Um, Tully Blanchard's the manager of AOP, by the way. Yeah, I don't know why. Maybe it's because, did I add anybody? Have I added somebody to the commentary team? Let me have a look. Hold on, let me quickly read this out first. Uh, Ackham and Tully Blanchard are a good pairing. So that's good. All right, let's go back to the booking screen for a second. Let me have a look at this. No, so we've got Michael Cole and Pat McAfee. So shall I add somebody, do you reckon? Oh, there's nobody worth adding, really, is there? Nah, nobody worth adding. As much as I wouldn't mind adding Tom Campbell or Matthew Gregg from Cultaholic. Um... Yeah, he's on SmackDown only. So uh, what I might do is get rid of... Maybe get rid of Corey and Wade Barrett and then just have Michael Cole, Pat McAfee and Moro Renaro as the main announced team for both shows. What do you reckon? Or Kevin Kelly. Or Kevin Kelly as well. I am not hiring Jim Cornette, no. <laughs> no. I'm not adding that bell end. Right then, let's go back to the show. Let's see what happens now. So I did a freestyle segment where AOP attacked DIY after the match. That got a 68 rating, all greens, so that's good. Had a good match, Matt Cadona beat Big E in 15 minutes by count out. Basically, I'm pushing Matt Cadona as a, uh, a douchebag heel. But um, I, sh I, I forgot to do, I meant to do Big E wins by count out or something, but I did it the wrong way. So anyway. Um, Macadona isn't as rated as well. So maybe I shouldn't be pushing him. Fans hated the end of this match. <laughs> but we're not happy with the count out result. Not you put this over. Yeah. Who doesn't love a count out finish? Right, in a good match, I think it's because Biggie got counted out and not bloody Macadona. So we're in a good match, Natalia, AJ Lee and Liv Morgan defeated Rhea Ripley and the Hunters in 40 minutes, 35 seconds, when AJ Lee pinned Zoe Stark with the Shining Wizard. Uh, the match was a little too short for the important match in the eyes of the... Uh, I thought I had to limit the, the minutes because of the, the certain wrestlers on there. Oh well, I'll have to change that next time. But we've got an 81 rating, so that's good. So... Rhea Ripley attacked Becky Lynch backstage after, after a loss. Only got a 49, but at least it started um, to gain some heat with the storyline. Um, we did a basically uh, a massive brawl between the war dogs of Baron, Cor uh, Baron Corbin, Bron Breaker, and Bill Goldberg versus Imperium. Got a 91 rating, which was really good. Um, the Braun Breaker versus Walter storyline has advanced with this segment. They're saying it deserved better announcing and better colour commentary. Let me just check the chat. No, nothing to add. Okay. Um, so in a decent match, the Wall Dogs defeated Imperium on Bill Goldberg being Ludwig Kaiser with... Uh, I called Lug, uh, Ludwig... I've been calling Ludwig Kaiser Ludwig Borger, I think. Anyway, Ludwig Kaiser. Uh, Bron Breaker was the weakling, struggling to be with everyone else's in performance. We've got a 73 rating. We do definitely need to upgrade Bron Breaker. Bron Breaker seemed off his game. Match was too short of an important match, so maybe I should have. The reason why I didn't do it very long was Bill Goldberg was in the match. But obviously he's proven me wrong. Yeah, Ludwig Ball Band, definitely, Dave. So I did a segment where Cody talks about his, match, his upcoming match versus Finn Balor. I got a 90 rating. Um, Cody Rose struggled when he was off script, so that's my fault. I should have put him on script. But still a good segment overall. Oh, the match did terrible, though. In a superb match. What is, how can it be a superb match? 
Cody Rose defeated Finn Balor in 22. Right, so it deserved better color commentary. Crowd became increasingly restless, uh, noise in the map. There's more and more overbooked, it really turned them off. That's my fault. So I did an all out match and I did overbook because I assumed because of the main event, I thought it might need something special. So if I kept it simple, it probably would do a better match. That's my fault. Uh, and it was too long as well. So again, that's my fault. Put my hands up on that one. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, it's disappointing that. That's my balls up there. I need to be a little bit better at doing them. We've lost more popularity in 30 regions. At this point, we're not getting any matches aimed at stealing the show. So maybe if I change that match to stealing the show, um, might have done a bit better. What do you reckon, Josh? Do you think all of that was all right up until the main event, do you reckon? Oh, well, obviously, Tegan Knox and Harvey Niven was a bit shit rubbish. It's a learning curve. You need to go and change your references, mate. How is that main event? Okay. So if I just finish the show now and then I'll I'll have a look at the what you mean by the reference. You mean the preferences? Yeah, preferences, yeah. Okay, right. I'll do that in a sec once this finish is loaded. Oh, I don't know what's happened here. Wait. Sorry, nearly closed it then by accident. Bear with me, I've just got to quickly message somebody on my phone. Two seconds. Right, change preferences, change Raw and SmackDown to two hours. Okay, so first things first, we're changing Raw and SmackDown. Well, SmackDown's already two hours, isn't it? Um, Baron Corbin's just giving me his opinion. Ak Akam is charismatic. I can see the kid doing doing well in the future. Maybe we need to push Akam as a single star eventually. Seamus is just giving me his opinion. It's just easier for me to tell you, by the way, instead of just keep adding the screen. Dominic Mysterio is a natural talker. The kid is worth getting promo time, so we need to start pushing Dominic and giving him some more promo time. WWE Raw was shown last night and got one... Uh, just over a million viewers, so I don't know if that's good or bad. Right, so we need to go. Do we change it in? Okay, let me do the announcers first. Let me do that, and then I'll go and change the thing after that. So events is fine. I oh, know events is not fine actually. Corey. The Kevin Kelly, Pat McAfee. I oh, know Moro's. Better, any. Oh, where is Moro? Oh, there he is, Moro. Yeah, so we'll do that. That's the events. What we could do is have. Ah, see. No. Uh, Kevin Kelly hasn't started yet, so that's probably why he wasn't on last night's Raw. I think. I think that's the reason. So. What we do, we get rid of Ray Barrett. Oh, I think I need to change. I think, hold on, bear with us. Can you see what I can see? Let me just wait. No, you can't. Yeah, okay, just two seconds then. I'm just um, putting Michael Cole. I'm just turning all the announcers off, basically, so they can... Uh, So he is no longer on Raw. He has no brand. Oh, he has none anyway, so Pat McAfee can go wherever he wants. Uh, Kevin Kelly. 
Yeah, that's no brand anyway. Moro. Right, so that makes it easier there. And then, right, so I got rid of that, so you can only see that now. So I just need to add another screen so you can see what I'm doing now. Hold on. Uh, announcers. There we go. Oh, hold on. Alright, let's try it now. There we go. Oh, it's so tedious having to do all that. Right. I can always change Pat McAfee's colour commentary to 80 because he is a he is a very good he's got 80 colour commentary, so I'll just up it. Raw brand. So Kevin Kelly's got 85 in announcement, so that's fine. SmackDown. So yeah, Wade Barrett is not good enough, neither is Corey Graves. We've put Michael Cole, Pat McAfee. Mora Monaro. So we'll have what we'll do, we'll have um we'll basically have Kevin Kelly on the one and then Mora Romero with Cole and Pat McAfee on SmackDown. So we've got four good enough guys on there. And then you said something about changing, didn't you? So I just need to go and vents and TV. Can you see that? Yeah, you can, that's lucky. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So should I have Corey Graves instead of Pat McAfee then? Okay, two two seconds then. I'll swap them around. I just need to take Corey off SmackDown. Right, so go back to announcers. I'm just changing over Pat McAfee for Corey Graves. Right, so there we go. Probably the best announced team we can have. Oh. Okay, cool. Right, you're happy. Hello to whoever's just joined. I've just noticed we've got four people in there now, so thank you for everybody that stayed on so far. Thank you, Josh, as always. Two hours. Okay, so I need to go to events now. Raw. Two hours. Save. Is SmackDown two hours? Yeah, SmackDown's two hours anyway. All right, so that's that done. I'm glad you're having fun, Dave, on your uh, TW save with AEW. I'm glad we've inspired you. Maybe you and the twins could do a live Twitch stream or something with you playing TW. I'll tune in at some point. I'm just very busy. So Josh will definitely tune in. Uh, right, I think that's it, isn't it? Oh, I need to, I need to, um, Bron Breaker, that was it, Bron Breaker, right. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. In-game editor, can you see that? You can. Settings, preferences, change preferences to. What have I got to change preferences to? Your preferences. Oh, okay. What do you want me to tick or untick? Match aim, rubbish. Okay. Match aim. Is it enable match ratios? Do you want me to untick that?
I'll just do sun, sunbox. I'll do sunbox. Do I enable scouting or not enable scouting? Untick scouting, then I on the right untick. I get rid of the unable pre book and reminders. Oh, there we go. Match aim. There we go. Untick overuse penalties. Untick oh, left off show complaints. Anything else, uh, Josh? Is there anything I need to tick? Ooh, we've got five people in here now. Hello, everybody. Can't see me on camera, I've just realised that. I'm going to put myself over here. See my... Oh! I didn't realise I was that. There we go. I need to small make me smaller. Get over here, out of the way. There we go. Sorry about everyone. Anything else you want me to... No, that's it. Okay, Sh let off. Left off show complaints. I've already done that, didn't I? Sorry. Yeah, I've already done that, haven't I? Right, save. Okay. Right, we need to go to in game editor now. We need to make Ron Breaker better than he is already. Let me just see if you can see what I can see. Probably can't. We click on skills. Can you see that? No, you can't. Right, let me add another screen. Is that big enough for you to see, Josh? Can you see that? Uh, I'll save the game. I'll save the game after this. Just remind me after this. Okay, so let's go through it. Brawling, he's a lot better at brawling, isn't he? 80. So, uh, Pusier, whatever it's called. Hardcore, he's probably, he could probably be pretty good in a hardcore match, but that's 70. Technical, he's a lot better. I mean, for God's sake, he's one of the Steiner brothers' sons. Aerial, he's very athletic, so we'll put set. We'll put. 70 for that. Flashiness, 8, 70. Psychology, 70. Experience is probably 30 now. Respect, he's one of the Steiner brothers' sons, so he needs to get more respect on his name. Reputation, probably the same, I reckon. What do you reckon so far? Any, any good so far, Josh? Charisma, 90, because he is very charismatic. Pretty decent on the mic. Acting, probably, probably probably 75. I wouldn't say he's the best actor in the world. Star, at least his star quality is pretty good. We'll put 90 for that. Sex appeal, I mean, he's he was going out with Cora Jade, so he's doing well for himself. Menace, 90. Like I said, his uncle and dad are very scary, so so is he. Basics is 80, probably. Selling. 80, consistency 80, I suppose. Safety, probably 80 as well. Stamina, he's a freak athlete, so it should be 90. Athleticism, 95. Power, the same, 95. Toughness, same. Resilience, probably 90. Right, does that look all right to you, Josh? Before I save it. You think I've, if you think I've been a bit generous on a few things, let me know and I can. Okay, cool. Right, I'll do that and then I'll save the game. I have got auto save back on anyway. I think, yeah, so it will just automatically save it. Right, 
Royal Rumbles in 12 days. We're not we're not been able to do the Royal Rumble. Uh what are we doing for time? I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna forward it a couple of days and then I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a day. Because it'll take me forever to book the next show. And I've done two shows, which is more than I did previously. And then what I'll do offline is I'll pre I'll basically book the next show before the next stream. So I won't be streaming tomorrow. Um nah. Uh I might do one more show, Dave, then. I might, I might. Let me see how I feel in a minute. Let me see how long it takes me to do it. As you ask so nice as you and the twins ask so nicely, I might do another show. Dave, if I do another show, you gotta get you gotta get somebody new to uh, join the st the next stream that I do on Thursday. There you go. Get the twins to follow me on Twitch. <laughs> I need more Twitch followers. Let me see how uh, NXT are doing. Right, let's see how I'll see how NXT are doing and then I'll also see how um AEW's doing as well. So I'll make sure that you can see what I can see, so just bear with us. Events in it. Where the hell's that? Oh, it's just we find it in view profile, don't we? Right, can you see that? Yes you can. Right. Let's have a look at tag teams first, see if they've got any I'll have a look. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you without looking at the without you having to look at the screen. So we've got a new tag team called Lock and Loaded, which is Lucas Steele and Brady Booker. Uh, Brady Booker. Brady was in. Um, he was the blonde guy in uh, Chase University. We've also got a, another tag team called Medusa Complex, which is Charlie Evans and Millie McKenzie. Actually, I think they're already no, they're already a tag team before they come to NXT. Uh, we've got this one called State of Emergency, which is Von Wagner and Tony D'Angelo. D'Angelo, sorry. Um, we've got another tag team called the Old School Outlaws, which is a wrestler called Yaviel, Yavier Burnell and Corey Storm. And then we've got another tag team called The Real Deal, which is Wes, uh, Wesley, who's the NXT North American champion, or he was, I can't remember if he still is, and Rockstar Spud. Um, right, let's have a look at the stables quickly. I'll just quickly let you know. No, it's t there, there is stables in the next T, but they're old stables that, that I need to delete at some point. Uh, let's have a look at Benson TV. That's what we want to see. No, we don't. One minute about history, isn't it? History. Show history. There we go. Right, can you see that? Let me just give it a second. Oh, it's OB Batman. See, I don't watch NXT. Right, you can't see what I can see, so I just need to add another screen. I watch too much wrestling. Is I'm I'm three weeks behind on AEW. I haven't watched AEW for the last five weeks, so I'm trying to catch up with it. Right. Hopefully you can. Can you see that all right? Yeah. Can you see the previous NXT show? If I go to the first one, is it down here? That was the first one. Anything worth talking about, maybe? I'll just quickly go through it. A lot of bloody interview segments with wrestlers. Megan Bain, who obviously I signed from Stardom, she beat JC Jane. But only got a 28 rate here. Uh, Lash Legend defeated Rene Michelle by count out. I mean, a lot of women's matches on the NXT, aren't there? Camilla Kane defeated the Keaton Lions. Tony D'Angelo and Von Wagner defeated uh, Moses Maddock and Alex, Zane, Alex Kane, sorry. And then Scripps, Dijak, and Gabe Stevenson defeated 
Idris Anofi and the Bravado brothers because I signed um, Lance Bravado, sent him to NXT to tag up with his brother. And then Duke Hudson and Ben Carter defeated Lexus King and Odyssey Jones. That got a 70 rerun, which is good. Drew Gulak defeated Oro Menzo in the main event. Let me just quickly check. Right, let me go to the next one. So, so the women's matches here. So James Darnell defeated Brogan Finley. Brogan Finley's just signed for NXT in real life, so there you go. Um, he made his debut for NXT, I think, the other day. Like a house show or something. Brady Booker defeated Oro Menza in the pre-show. Big Swall, who was in AEW, defeated Lady Frost in the pre-show. A couple of angles that not worth telling you about. Aaliyah James defeated Ariana Grace. Uh, Alex Gars, Alex Gracia defeated Nina Samuels. And then Alex Kane and the Old School Outlaws defeated Bobby Stevenson and the State of Emergency. Uh, Izzy Dame defeated Roxanne Perez. See, again, a lot, literally every one of these matches are women's matches. Got a 79 show rating, though, so you can't really say too much. And then Flamita. Oh, this is the one we saw the uh, last stream, wasn't it? Sorry. I apologise. We've already been through this. Right, so the next show, Ali Cap defeated Gia Scott. Lucas Steele and Brady Booker defeated Brogan Finley and Channing Lorenzo. Moyne Salvino defeated Jake Dumas. Julia defeated Ali Rex. Bellini Jordan defeated Natalia Markova. Odyssey Jones and the Old School Outlaws defeated Grego de Sol in State of Emergency. Jack Evans defeated Connor Mills. Rockstar Bud defeated Miles Bourne. Uh, Duke Hudson defeated Ben Carter, Chris Hero, and Wes Lee. And then Drew Gulak and Gabe Stevenson defeated Curtis Axel and Noam Darby by DQ. Right, so we've done that. Now we'll look at AEW for you. Let me just check the chat, see if I haven't missed anything. Yeah, it's not too bad though, is it? Yeah. Um, they'll, they'll get Gulak and Stevenson, I might call up both Stevenson brothers after WrestleMania with Gulak. And they might join that catch point stable I've got with Matt Riddle and that. Or they might start their own stable to go against Matt Riddle's catch point. We will see. Right, let me just go on here so you can see that. Let's have a look at tag teams. I'll just quickly see if there's any new tag teams in AEW. By the looks of it, no. Um, no, so there's no, there's no tag teams. I'll just go to show history. There's only been one show. Can you see that show though? Let me just see if you can. No, you can't. Right, let me just add another screen. Right, you can see that now. I just need to expand it. Let me just check the chat so I'm not missing anything. No, nope. right, so let's go through the AW. So the only show they've done, um, they had Austin Gunn defeat Kip Savian. And then Brody King defeated Colton Gunn. Sadie uh, Martinez defeated Serena Deeb. And then the first match they did was Nida Rose defeated Billy Starks. Claudio Casanoni defeated Shibata. Alba Kingo and SCU3, which I think is Christopher Daniels and Scorpio Sky, defeated Jay Lethal and the Private Party. That got an 80 range, so that was a good match. A lot of uh, angles. And then Adam Copeland defeated Lee Mariotti. Miro defeated Sammy Guevara to retain the AEWTNT title. And then Samoa Joe and John Hennigan defeated FTR in a cage match. And Ruby Soho defeated Soraya. Maybe they're foreshadowing what's going on in AEW in real life. Right, I think that's that really. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to do another show, lads. I'm quite tired now, but I'm just going to forward it to this one. See if there's anything happened, and then we'll call it a day, lads. Sorry, I'm just really tired now. I've been doing quite a bit today because I've recorded four 
YouTube videos as well. Sky Blue looks like my twins. Are you joking me? Sky Blue is the most hottest woman in the world, and you're going out with two women that look like her. I feel like there's um, I feel like there's shenanigans here. I feel like you're lying. Or one sky blue and one blue sky, <laughs> so you can so you can separate the difference in them. Yeah, that's it then, lads. I'm going to call it a day. I'm just going to save this so I don't forget. So just to let you know, I won't be on tomorrow. Um, my plan is to have Wednesdays and Fridays off. So I'm only going to be doing this three times a week: Monday, Tuesday, and. Um, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So I want Wednesdays and Fridays off. Um, it, I might, if I'm not particularly busy, I might do an extra stream in the in the week, one one of the, one or two of the weeks of the month. But yeah, I just need to get a bit of a balance between the two. So um, no, I'm not streaming tomorrow. So I need to change my schedule because I was originally going to do four days a week, but I just, it's just too much. So, especially with the YouTube content that I have to create as well. But yeah, cheers, Dave. Cheers, Josh. Appreciate you sticking by me through this stream. Thank you for your help when it comes to doing this. Thanks for the uh, help, Josh, with the technical stuff and, and just supporting me in general. So, um, yeah. And make sure, Dave, let me know if you do a stream with the twins, all right? <laughs> I'm only joking. Right then, you two. Have a nice day. Um, thanks for your support, like I said, and I'll speak to you soon, everyone. And thanks to anybody else that watched that didn't didn't join in the chat. Um, bye.